Okay, so next we are going to download and then we are going to install WHMCS for clapcoder.com. So I'm on the WHMCS website. I'm going to log in here with my support at clapcoder account and the password. Login. So I'm going to download it to my computer first. I'm going to go from services, license and services here. And we have the license we just uh, bought. I'm going to go few details. Here I'm going to downloads on the top here. And download now. I'm going to save on my Mac here. Okay, so it has finished downloading. Next, I'm going to my cPanel for clapcoder.com. So I'm going to the file manager. You can type it here. File manager. So whenever you're searching, of course, you already know. I'm going to go to the file manager and I'm going to upload the WHMCS installation. So next we are going to upload a file with this function and choose the file which is in my downloads folder. Here we go, the latest version. Open that up and on the bottom here you can see it start uploading takes maybe a couple of minutes now the download has completed I'm going to close this and refresh um, this folder here just reload the whole thing probably so we have the zip file I'm going to unzip it. members next members password generator I'm going to generate the password and use password create user then 
we are going to assign the privilege which is all privileges and go to next step here okay here we are done I'm going to return home so the user is club code members and then the database club code members and I have copied the password and we are good to proceed with the installation now where is the installation folder you just go browse here and do the install folder and then I think if we just go browse here and go install it's going to initiate oh no it's not I'm gonna click install.php okay here we go so we are now going to install the whole thing uh, read the agreement and then I agree so configuration file is failed we have to rename the templated file name into configuration.php so that is located in the WHMCS folder because we have remove um, move it it's going to be on our root folder here now I'm just going to rename this and rename file now we are going to try again go back here recheck requirements so everything looks good we are going to continue okay so next we are going to need the license key I'm going to grab this from my WHMCS client area copy that go here paste it there the database host is local host the username is club code members the password I'm going to copy this which we copy from the password generator earlier and same for database name continue okay it looks good so first time this is for the administrator account I'm going to use the same password as the database and complete setup so it says installation complete so now we have to delete the install folder let's do that one by one from top going back to file manager here we have this install folder I'm going to delete that delete files that's done next secure the website directories it is advisable to move the attachment downloads and template C directories outside the public folder I'm going to do that now so attachment downloads and template C so those are attachment template C and downloads folder so I'm going to move file outside the public HTML move that outside as suggested and instructions on how to do this we just did that so next we are going to set up the daily cron job which is this one we need to run the cron job cron job copy that I'm gonna copy the whole line go back to C panel and search for cron jobs click there common settings um, once a day please 
the command is this one add new cron job okay so that's done now it's time to configure WHMCS which we will cover on the next course so let's try out the club coder slash admin okay so we have to change the location of the templates underscore C folder in the configuration file we almost missed that so I'm gonna edit this part edit that part and change this to the full path which is that so let's save changes now refresh this part okay now it's good to go so installation is complete on the next course I am going to cover the whole um, initial configuration of WHMCS and I'll see you on the next course.